Hello and welcome to Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design bicycle using Microsoft PowerPoint animations. Okay, all right, so let's get started. Uh, this is how the bicycle is going to look like. All right, so yeah. now to start. We are going to make sure that our layout is blank. Okay, then you click on insert, click shapes, and take a rectangle and draw a straight line here. This will be for the street. You can change the color by clicking on format to go to shape and select a color for the street. The next thing is to go to shapes and pick a donut. Hold the shift click key and then click to draw it. That will give you a perfect shape. Uh, we are going to change the width. So I'll click on this yellow ribbon here and then drag it up to draw it. And I'm going to draw another donut inside this. So here we go and reduce this as well. Then change the color of this one, format and select the color. The next is to take a rectangle, draw a, a horizontal rectangle to touch the internal part of the second ribbon, I mean second donut. Make a copy of it by clicking on, I mean pressing Ctrl D to duplicate it. So make it a duplicate, so Ctrl D. Then we rotate it 90 degrees and put it across. Then we we'll make a duplicate of this one. Control D. I've made a duplicate. It is placed exactly on top of this. So I'm just going to rotate it. Then click this and make a duplicate again. So I'm going to place it exactly on top of it. Then rotate it the other way around. Then I'll pick the knot again, draw a smaller donut on top of this by holding the shift and draw and place it exactly on in the middle. Now let's change the color so you can see it very clear. I'm going to close it a bit. Right, so this is what we have. Now what happens is I'm going to group everything here, including the, this wheel here. Else, if I move it, a move this will move and leave it. Okay, if I move this one to it goes. So I'm going to make sure they are all placed together. <clears throat> all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this small circle, click the external donuts, and these are four rectangles here. So one, two, three, four. And then I'll press Ctrl G to group them. Ctrl G to group them. All right. So Ctrl G. I've grouped them. So now they are not one. You can see it. The next thing is that I'm going to make a copy of this so I can get two of them here. So I'll click this. You click the external one and then control D to get another one here. Place it here. Right. So, what we're going to do is to uh, complete our say, um, our bicycle. You click on the donut again and draw a donut between them. But before this, let me move this one a bit this way so I can get space in the middle here. Draw a small donut in the middle. And put it between this. You can, if you want, you can close it. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to apply animations to these wheels, then we continue before we then continue to complete the uh, other part of the bicycle. So, I want the wheel to move and face the right direction okay 
I want it to face the right direction. So what I'm going to do is, I want the out external wheel. What I can do is, uh, I'm just going to let me add this thing to it. I'll click here, then draw a small rectangle this way to take the same line here, make a duplicate of it, place it down here, pick another rectangle, draw it the other way around this way. Just to fix it this way, make a duplicate of it and fix it the other way around. Then I want these ones that I've just added to touch the external one here. So I click on the first one here, press control and click the second one, third and fourth, and now the external one. Then group it, control G to group it. Okay. I'm going to do similar to this one, but instead of repeating it, okay, let's just do that very quick. I'll click on this and uh, draw it here. Make a duplicate, place it down here. Draw another one for the cross sectional part. Make a duplicate, place it here. Then press control, click this, click that, click this, and the external one. Then control G to group it. So they are now grouped. So I'm going to do the animation now. Okay. So what we're going to do is to apply the animations to the wheels. Okay, so I'll click on the first wheel here, then click animations, click add animations and select spin. Click the internal one, click animations, add animations and select spin. Then we are going to add some effects to that. So let's start with the first one, the external one. And there's effect options here. There's a small drop down arrow which says show additional effect. You click that, and I want it to go clockwise 360 degrees. So I will leave this as 360 degrees, but I'll go to the timing and the duration two seconds. But the repeat, I'm going to select until end of slide and click OK. And I'll go to the internal wheel, click on the arrow, click. Uh, rotation, I'm going to let it be counterclockwise. Just want to give a blend to it. Counterclockwise 360 degrees. The timing, I'm going to go to duration and make it 0.5 very fast. Repeat until the end of slide, and I'll click OK. Okay. All right. The next thing is that I'm going to make sure that both the external and the internal move at the same time. So, what I'll do is to click on animation pane. Then this line here is for the external one and this line here is for the internal one. So I'll go to the second one, which is the internal one, click the drop down arrow and select start with previous. For the first one, you leave it as it is. Okay. Then the next thing is that the effect, the animations effect that we've applied to the external and the internal, I'm going to apply the same thing to these wheels here. So I'll click on the external one and click on Animation Painter. Then I'll click on the external one to over there. Click the internal one, click Animation Painter, and click the internal one for this one too. Then I'll go to, here we have 1, 1, and here 2, 2. I want both to be same thing, 1, 1, move at the same time. So I'll go to this, first, second, third, fourth. So the first is this, the second is this, and the third is this. So I'll go to the third. Click and say start with previous, so both will all have the same effect. One one, so they start at the same side. So let's just play our work and see what will happen. So they both start at the same time. All right, let's continue. The next step I'm going to look at is to complete the bicycle now. So I'm going to insert and pick shapes and pick a rectangle and draw it vertically. I mean horizontally. When you draw it horizontally, you are going to get this green button here. But if you decide to draw it vertically, you ain't going to get the green button here. That's why I decided to draw it this way. So let me delete this, click and press delete. I'm going to make a duplicate of it. Remember, duplicate is Control D. So Control D. 